Hello guys, girls and other pals, and welcome to finally a new video here on my channel. Today I'm going to make some copper acetate, because I was in the mood for some copper chemistry. When starting with the preparation, I looked in my inventory and found three sources of copper. Copper sulfate. Copper nitrate. And metallic copper. I decided against metallic copper because I would firstly have to turn it into ions. Because of that I use copper sulfate, because I have a large quantity of it. I started by dissolving copper sulfate in water. Next I dissolved sodium carbonate in water and heated it. This was necessary because dissolving it is endothermic. This solution was then added into the copper sulfate solution. Immediately there was a blue precipitate falling out. Theoretically this would be copper carbonate, but copper carbonate is extremely water sensible and reacts to form basic copper carbonate and carbon dioxide. Basic copper carbonate contains both hydroxide and carbonate. This should not be a problem. The precipitate was next filtered and washed. I didn't bother drying it. It is going to get wet anyway. Don't take this out of context. Don't. Anyway, now that I have the basic copper salt, I can react it with an acid to form the salt of that acid. Because I want an acetate, I will use acetic acid. The basic carbonate was added into water and then acetic acid was added. Although seeming to be tame at first, it started to foam strongly and even bubbled over slightly. After everything was tamed, the solution was heated. Next everything was filtered. The solution was boiled down to a quarter of the volume a large amount of product crushed out during that and more when I cooled it down. The crystals were now filtered. They are small but extremely gorgeous. They don't show up that good on the camera, so I shine some light on it for you to see. To dry it I used my fast drying setup. It is simply a hot air fan 
I also tried to put the remaining solution into a crystallizing dish to get some bigger crystals. After one day the crystals are looking bright and gorgeous. The crystallizing dish on the other hand looks kinda sad. There were no bigger crystals and just some clumps. The crystals were added into a storage container. I hope you liked my video, bye.